Glaucus is perhaps the most special name and character in Greek mythology, because there are four main figures related to this name. That is, there are four different persons under the name of Glaucus, whose stories are related to monsters, poisons, magic, and war, which were considered very important topics in Greek mythology. In this video, I will explain to you the story of each hero, so please make sure you watch the video until the end of the video because the stories themselves are very mysterious and fascinating. The first Glaucus was the sea god, who was at first born as a mortal human being. It was recorded that he was deeply interested in the sea and usually spent all of his time on fishing with net, rod, and line. One day, he spread out his catch and got back a verdant grass, in which he was very curious about its magical properties. Thus, he ate the grass and suddenly, there was a strong desire in him to leave the land and to dwell in the sea forever. He dived deep down the waves, where he met the sea gods who transformed Glaucus into a merman, cleansing him of any traces of mortality. Glaucus fell in love with a sea nymph called Scylla, but she rejected him in advance because he was a fish-like creature. He then sought help from the witch Circe to produce for him a love potion. However, Circe fell in love with Glaucus herself, so she was very jealous that she wants him to scorn Scylla and stay with her. When Glaucus refused her love, Circe created a poisonous potion and put it into the pool where Scylla usually took a bath, which transformed Scylla into a terrible monster with twelve feet and six heads. The second Glaucus in Greek mythology was the king of Crete, son of Minos. When he was a small child, he fell into a storage jar full of honey while he was chasing a mouse. King Minos searched everywhere but couldn't find him. Eventually, his father came to Apollo, the sun god, who told them that a prodigy had recently appeared and whoever could explain the following riddle would be able to help Minos find his son. The riddle was about a miraculous cow which changed its color three times per day, with each time equal to four hours, from white to red, then black. Now, there was only one person who could offer the explanation, who was the seer Pelias, saying that the bull was like a mulberry tree with its fruits changed color while ripening from white to red, and finally to black. Later, the seer Pelias told Minos that his son was dead because he was drowned in the honey jar. Thus, Minos told the seer that if he could not bring the boy back to life, he would be buried together with Glaucus. At first, Pelias was totally at a loss. Then by chance, a snake appeared in the tomb and he killed it, fearing that it might cause harm. Then another snake appeared seeking its mate, while carrying a magical herb. Hence, Pelias took the herb and put it on the corpse of Glaucus, and he was amazed because the boy was restored to life. The third Glaucus mentioned in Greek mythology was the king of Corinth, son of Sisyphus. This Glaucus was best known in the story of his death, when he was engaged in a chariot race at the funeral games of Peleus, running a team of mare that he kept at Potnii. When he lost the race, his furious mare tore him to pieces and devoured him. Various sources from the Greek tell the reason for his death differently. Some say that it was due to the water that the mare drunk from a well at Potnii that made them go wild, some say that it was because Glaucus feed the mare with human flesh, while others say that Glaucus prevented the mare from mating, so the goddess of love, Aphrodite, feeling herself mocked, turned them against Glaucus. Whatever the reason, it was a dreadful death, and his ghost, known as Terexippus, had been known to haunt and scare the horses whenever the horses race at the stadium at Corinth. The last Glaucus that we are going to talk about was the Lycian hero of the Trojan War, son of Hippolychus. With his cousin Sarpedon, he fought on the side of the Trojans in the Trojan War. During the fight, Glaucus met Diomedes, who fought for the side of the Greeks, even though they shared a family bond relationship dated back to their grandfather's generation. When Sarpedon was badly injured during battle, 
Blockus tried to save him, but was prevented because he was himself wounded. Thus, he prayed to the sun god Apollo to be cured quickly, and his prayer was granted. However, Glaucus was not able to save Sarpedon, but later brought back his body and armors, which were stripped by the Greeks in the battle. It was said that later Glaucus was killed under the hand of Ajax at the tenth year of the war, while they were fighting for the possession of Achilles' corpse. This concludes the stories about four different heroes named Glaucus. This channel is about mythology and secrecy, so if mythology is your special interest, please subscribe to my channel so you will be updated whenever I post new videos. Thank you my friend, I will see you next time.